Hello friends. Today we have a Samsung Galaxy S10 for repair. Here we will change the battery and Type S socket. Here is a battery from the Vixian company. And here is a Type C connector. Don't forget to take out the SIM tray first. Next, after warming up, remove the back cover. The lid came off easily using a suction cup. I will immediately remove all the glue so that it does not interfere with us. They also asked me to clean the microphone and two speakers. I immediately applied two-sided tape for the battery. But before gluing the battery, you need to check it. As you can see, the battery shows 58%. New batteries always come with a charge of about 50%. As you can see, the battery is working. Now turn off the phone and change the type C connector. With a type connector it turned out to be much more complicated than with USB connectors because here you can't reach with a soldering iron and solder the legs since the case is closed. Fitting the connector is only possible using a hot air gun. The problem is not to melt the plastic that is inside the connector and at the same time solder the legs to the board. What let's try. And so friends, everything is ready to desolder it. There is a microphone next to the connector. I pasted thermal tape and put a metal plate on top so as not to damage the microphone. We will heat it up, start at 300 degrees Celsius, now I will select the nozzle of the required size. I'll take the square one and try to remove the connector. I will increase the temperature to 330 degrees. The type C connector starts to move. Thank you.
you probably need to solder at 340 degrees. Why not less than 340 degrees? Because the connector was removed a little too tightly, which means that the solder did not melt perfectly and when shrinking the new one, you need to add temperature. I'll probably tin the contacts of the new connector so that the soldering is 100% successful because I don't have a second spare. When the contacts are tinned both on the connector and on the board, Soldering is much easier, so I'll probably tin the contacts. Let's look under a microscope to see what I got. The surface is tinned and now the soldering should be perfect. And so guys, everything is ready to fit the new connector. All that remains is to apply the flux. I also made a canopy from thermal tape so as not to melt the plastic inside the connector. We apply flux and get to work. I'll set it to 345 degrees Celsius on the hairdryer. I will increase the temperature by 365 degrees. The connector sat down at 365 degrees, but I will increase it by another 10 degrees so that the contacts that are soldered inside will be sure. Now you need to wait for the board to cool down after which we will check. I also removed the headphone jack so that it would not interfere with installing the board in the phone. Now let's get to the speaker. We heat the phone on the separator. If you warm up the speaker too little, it may come off and part of the speaker will remain in the phone body. We took out the speaker and now we need to clean it and the mesh located on the display side. I had already cleaned the mesh first. But then I looked through the microscope and saw a lot more debris. I cleaned out this debris using a syringe needle. Now you need to rinse and blow through the mesh again. Now look at the result I got. Now we assemble the phone completely. And now friends, I will show you a very interesting moment. Now I'll connect the phone charging wire and see what happens. 
A notification like this pops up and the phone does not charge. The consumption is about 20 miles ampere. When the battery drains quickly, the problem we have is with this wireless charging. It is somehow connected to the battery charge. Let's put it on and see what changes. Let's check again. Now the phone has started charging. Now let's assemble the phone completely. Now I will check the top speaker, then the main speaker, cameras, and then I will glue the back cover. I went to the test menu and there is a speaker test function. The glue on the back cover can be removed very easily when it is heated. Heat the back cover onto the separator and heat it to 100 degrees, after which we remove the tape. Without heating this will be very difficult to do. And when heated it is quite easy to remove. We clean the remaining glue with isopropanol and will install the back cover. We leave it to stick together for 4 hours, after which we will check the phone. All friends, as you can see, the phone is charging, the repair is complete, I hope you liked the video and it was useful. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. For those who want to help develop the channel, the donation link is under the video. See you soon, good luck with your repairs, bye bye.